Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm starting this one with a little bit of a disaster. The trades that we had open in the last video have all gone and we are going to have to rebuild those positions. So as you can see on the screen right now, we have got um, all of the trades that we had open. So one, two, three, four, all of them hit out over Friday um, and today. So we are down from 500 to 493. Obviously, I'm not risking a lot on these positions. Um, it's a little bit over 1%. Um, so it's not too much of an issue. Obviously, we'll rebuild that whenever we start to see some more positions add up. But um, yeah, wanted to give you a little bit of an update on that. And let's head over to TradingView to get the rest of the strategy on the five minute time frame. So here we are on the five minute time frame, and I'm going to be showing you the rest of the strategy. So, okay, so here we are. Um, I mean, I can show you any of these examples, and we'll go over quite a few, but essentially what we're doing is we've got the daily strategy, which was in the last video. If you haven't seen that already, make sure to go and see that. Um, and this is the shorter time frame strategy. Now, you can trade this on a down day and an up day, um, but I will kind of advise you guys, if you're going to be following along, to trade in the direction um, of the daily. So whenever we see a bullish day, we want that next day we want to be taking bullish trades. You can do it on the down days as well, especially when, when we're in a market like this, and you can see we're having multiple down days um, in a row from pretty much January 1st. So you can be taking down uh, short trades if you want to be, but I do have to kind of say this is a long-term strategy. This is not, uh, or a long-term mindset, I would say. This is not a short-term mindset. And long-term, my, my kind of idea of where the S&P is going to be is definitely bullish. Therefore, I wouldn't be taking bullish trades. And I'll be waiting for those bullish days to then confirm the direction. So as you can see on the chart right now, we've got this day right here. And the previous day was bullish. And today we are now looking for bullish trades. So the idea is essentially what we are doing is taking trades on the five minute with a stop loss of a five minute chart but the tp is on the daily okay and I'll, I'll explain what that means in a second um i can actually show you um if i go back i can show you a different day where this worked out perfectly and then i can show you somewhere it doesn't work so um essentially all we're doing is looking at that window of time that we've got on our screens right now which is 2.30 US, or well, US open, but UK it's 2.30 until um, basically 4. And that does change. So whenever we see um, the clocks go forwards and backwards, that is going to change. I actually think it was different in the last video, but we'll ignore that. Um, so what we're doing is we are saying we want to be taking buys in this market. Um, and whenever we see that window of time, this is 18 bars, okay? And by the time we reach the end of this 18th bar, so by the, by the open of this bar, there's a 70% chance that this is going to be the high of the day, or this is going to be the low of the day. So whenever we're kind of seeing this, and we're saying, okay, I want to be taking buys, if this is the low of the day, so we've got a 70% chance that this is going to be the low of the day. So if we mark that out, it's not going to be perfectly straight, but if we mark that out and we say, okay, by the end of this, we, this is our stop loss, right? Because this is going to be the low of the day. Now, we don't want to be placing it there because obviously there's still a 30% chance that this is not going to be the low of the day. Um, and this could also be the high of the day. We don't 100% know. So we want to be taking a little bit of kind of leeway on that. And the way that you can do that is two ways. 
The first way is by taking the range of this um, section of price, and I'll actually do it on the next bar because um, you can't see it very well. So if I do this, so that's your range, and all you want to be doing is multiplying that down, right? So however big this is, you push that down. So this is basically an area of price, and we want to be pushing that down. You can go for half of it if you want to. So basically, that's your daily range. You then cut that in half and say, okay, this is now my stop loss. So this bit in here, multiplied down, which would be about here, would now be my stop loss. That is one way to do it. If you want to be a little bit more cautious, you can go for the full thing and double that down. Um, that is up to you. Okay, so let's say we enter a trade right now. So we wait until the 17 bars are done. We then enter a trade and we say, okay, we know that this is the, the stop loss that is um, the high or the low of the day. We then mark out the high of that. And then we can say, we'll put that to the bottom of this candle right here. There we go. Let's zoom out a little bit so I can get this better. Um, so half of that is basically where the stop loss is right now. So you can go right here. Or you can go for a different stop loss, which is down here. It's up to you, really. Personally, I would go for half because... We've got the daily strategy, which is the long-term strategy. On the five minute, we're trying to maximize the R to R risk. And the way that we're doing that is by having the small stop loss and the large take profit. Now I'll get onto the take profit in a second, but essentially this is the aspect where we want to reduce that risk or reduce that stop loss to maximize the reward later down the road. Now, obviously the win rate is going to be affected by your stop loss. so. If you're not comfortable with losing, maybe go for a bigger stop loss. Um, but if you are comfortable with losing, which is very, very rare, but if you are, that's good, go for the smaller stop loss because it is always better to maximize, maximize that risk reward. In terms of your take profit, what we're going to be doing, if we go back to the daily chart, you can see that we've got a price right here, the 4381. Now, this, in terms of a price range, um, for the daily chart is quite small, but for the five minute, if I just show this to you, we go onto this and drag that up or not. Um, give me a second. So this isn't even the full uh, trade. I will show you what that kind of looks like in a second. So if we just put that to the daily ATR stop loss, so if you remember in the pre if you have not seen the previous video, please go and watch it because otherwise this is not going to make sense. Um, but if we have a look at this, you can see that um, this is a seven risk reward or 6.5, uh, 6.6 risk reward, which is very, very good, right? That's very, very good. But what I'm going to be saying to do for this strategy to maximize that risk reward whilst playing on the daily chart being uh, a trending um, phase is we're going to be looking for three times the ATR risk. Now, again, this is up to you, right? You can go for just a single ATR, which is very, very good. Um, or you can go, or you could enter two trades, um, one at one ATR and then another one at three ATR. Um, now, this is a perfect trade. Um, it's not something that, you know, you're going to be getting a 50% win rate on. You're probably going to be sitting around 10%, 15%, maybe 20% when the market is perfectly ranging like this, um, which we are not. So in this market condition, I would just go for a one ATR trade. Um, you know, I wouldn't be trying to squeeze every tiny little bit out of the market when we're in a market like this. When we're in a market like this, and it's very, very nice trending markets, you can go for those three ATR trades. But for this one, just stick with this. Um, so as you can see, the profit is 626. 
uh, in terms of the ticks. So if we just put in 1800, you can see that the price goes all the way up there. And then we can spun that out. So as you can see, we did not hit take profit on this trade. But we did get up to probably a 16 risk reward, 17 risk reward. Um, and whenever you're going for a trade like this, you need to be managing it. You can't let a 15 plus risk reward trade go to zero, right? You can't do that. So you need to be managing this. Now, in later videos, I will get on to how to manage these trades and how to actually maximize your profits to make sure that you're not giving up these 15 plus risk reward trades. Let's go into a little bit more on this because there is a crucial, 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 crucial thing that we are missing. And that is the re-entries later on down the road. This is one entry, okay? You've then got another, another bullish trade here, another bullish trade here, another bullish trade here, another bullish trade here on this day, because this day is bullish. You've then got another, another bullish trade here, here and here, and here, okay? So you've got about, I don't know, seven or eight more trades um, before the market turns down. So let's just say you were perfect in with your trading and you got out at the perfect point. You're probably getting around a 30, maybe 40 risk reward on that trade uh, on, on this kind of uh, couple of weeks. And of course, this is a perfect scenario, right? It's never always going to be like this. But when the S&P is trending, you will be surprised how many times this happens. And um, whenever I was trading in October, November, I was getting some crazy, crazy results. So do not kind of look at the current condition of the market and say this is not going to work because this is four months, right? This is four months. What about all of the years when the market does this, right? The market isn't going to be in this kind of consolidation range market forever. Um, it is going to go back to trending and it is going to be having those nice days where it's going to be super, super easy to get those trending days over and over and over again. So yes, it didn't work today, but we shouldn't even be taking this trade in this current market because we're in a down market, it's not looking good. Um, so let's go back to what I would kind of go for in a, in a market like this. Let's turn that off. Um, I would just go for the daily ATR. And if you're having a look at the daily ATR and you're taking the trades on every single day, you're getting these winners, right? You're closing your profits here. You're closing your profits here, 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 here. You're closing your profits as it goes up. And then when we move down, you're taking a few losses. So again, you can even be managing these trades as well. It's not like you need to leave it alone for six point, I think it was five ATR um, was the actual number. Um, yeah, but we'll get into the more details later on. There's a lot to do with this strategy and there's a lot that you can do with this strategy. Um, I'm not going to be forcing you into anything right now because we are very, very early on in this journey and I don't want to be kind of saying you have to trade it this way, you can't trade it this way um, because I don't know myself, right? I'm not, I haven't tested a thousand different ways of trading this with every single variant. Um, and, you know, I'd be stupid to say you can't trade it this way. So um, I've given you a few options. Let me know down in the comments below which one kind of stands out to you and which one you like. Um, personally, I do like going for those bigger risk, risk reward trades because the daily is always there and it's always kind of, it, it's building that account whilst you're going for the higher risk trades in the five minute. Um, and you're combining these two things to give you a trading plan that is really, really solid and can dramatically increase your uh, percentage gain at the end of each month and year. Uh, I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you do want to be booking a call with me and you have any questions about anything, having any issues with your trading, book it down below. Um, if you want to be signing up and following along with this journey as well, there's a brokerage link in the in the description. Um, click on that, sign up, and follow along with this journey. Um, I look forward to seeing you in future videos. I hope you have an amazing day, and thank you for watching.